now available in paperback and e-readers, Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get your copy today at your favorite online bookseller. The deadliest predators often have a pretty face, and they often use their beauty to gain the trust of an unsuspecting individual to exploit them for their gain. And when we look at Carolyn Bryant, the woman who accused Emmett Till of whistling at her, we understand that this white female is one of the deadliest predators to ever grace history. Because when we look at Carolyn Bryant's actions from a panoramic perspective, we can see the malice of forethought and the pure evil behind them. Because that's all I can call this Carolyn Bryant. She is truly one of the most evil people I have ever read about since Adolf Hitler. I mean, when you look at her actions and you understand them, you will see how reprehensible and egregious this female truly is in her behavior. Because in her old age, this Carolyn Bryant is saying that she knew that this boy didn't do anything to her, and she willfully and intentionally sent out her husband and another man to go murder Emmett Till. So she pretty much set that boy up to be murdered. As I see it, she is the mastermind of the murder, and she should be charged back then along with those other two males. However, because the Jim Crow South was run by a bunch of simps, they couldn't see who the real predator is. Because when I look at the big picture regarding this Carolyn Bryant, again, I see the face of pure evil because this woman willfully and intentionally sent and manipulated two white racists and sent them out to go murder a 14 year old boy. And when you put that into perspective, you see how evil this female truly is because she sends two white males out to go murder this 14 year old black boy, not because he did anything to them, but because he allegedly whistled at her, and because it was to sate her own ego regarding the her, her uh, this affront perpetrated upon her, allegedly. So when I look at her actions from that perspective, they truly are evil, because for you to sit there and willfully and intentionally, with malice of forethought, send these guys out, get them all emotional, get them riled up, and then have them go out here to, as you know what was going to happen, get this boy attacked. That's pure evil. That's almost like what I saw back in my days at Park West and Taft High School with these black females, with these drug dealers. How they would willfully and intentionally send these guys out to go out here because of some slight that they felt was done to them to go attack another human being. And again, this is the pure evil that gets a pass from many in America, white and black, because they don't see who the enemy truly is. And when I look at this Carolyn Bryant, she is the face of pure evil. Because, again, for you to sit there and send those guys out to go kill that boy, a child, it, it, just, it just shows how, how evil this female truly is. And the sad part is, many of these white males out here do not even understand how dangerous their females are. The only ones that I see that really understand this female's deadly nature are the MGTOWs, and even quite a few of them are pretty much clueless to how dangerous this female is. Because this is the type of female who, again, will send you out here to be killed, and send you out here to be destroyed, and then, at the end of the day, after you've done all this, we'll decide, you know she's going to abandon you for somebody else to, who has more resources. And that's what your Carolyn Bryant pretty much did after the trial of Emmett Till when these two guys got acquitted. She went out, divorced this guy, remarried, and then went into hiding, and then remarried again. She pretty much showed us, again, the predatory nature of this white female in her actions. And all of this is going over the heads of not only these white men, but also these black men out here, and they can't see how deadly a predator this white female is. Because when you talk about the racism and white supremacy, 
like the pro-blacks and the hoteps and many other the Negroes want to talk about, you have to understand one fact regarding this white female. You have to look at the old African proverb and say to yourself, that applies to that, to that white female. Um, the race can rise no higher than the moral position of the women. And as the woman goes, so goes the race. And when we look at this white female, we see the direction she wants to take her race in. We look at her as the first teacher of culture. We see what direction she wants to take the race in. She is the original racist. She is the original white supremacist. And she teaches racism and white supremacy to the boys she raises and involves herself with. Unfortunately, many of these Afro-American Negroes cannot look at this white woman and see her for the monster she truly is because all they're looking at is the pretty face and what she tells us is that she's the most beautiful woman in the world, she's the most attractive woman in the world, and you need to lust and desire after her because that's what she taught those simp white males in society that she is attractive and desirable and she is worth fighting and dying for. But when you really take a panoramic view of this white female and examine her for who she truly is, again, you'll come to the same perspective that I have that many of these white females, like this Carolyn Bryant, are deadly predators and all they look to do is prey on unsuspecting people like Emmett Till and have them murdered just to sate their own ego. And again, if you look at that picture and look at her actions, they clearly show us a pattern of malice, of forethought. This female is pure evil. And that's all I can call her because for her to know that this boy didn't do anything to her and to direct these guys like traffic to go out here and attack this innocent 14-year-old boy, that that, that's just evil when you think about it. I mean, she was the one who pretty much orchestrated all this. And now in her old age, she's going to sit there and say she pretty much lied about everything in the court case and fabricated statements. And then on top of it, we look at her actions again and they show us how evil she is because she's going to sit there and do this for a book to gain profit on it. And I'm sitting there going, you don't see the evil that this female is doing to you right now. I mean, if you look at this case and then you look at what O.J. Simpson was trying to do with the book, If I Did It, you will come to an understanding of how evil this female is. Because when O.J. Simpson was out here trying to publish and promote the book, If I Did It, to get profit off the alleged murders of Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman, white people got into a fervor over that and literally got that book canceled and got the editor who approved it fired. However, in the case of this Emmett Till, you know, this female sits here, puts on her extra salty tears, and then panders to the same simp white males, and then makes a book saying that she lied about everything and she wants to allegedly cleanse her soul. But all she does is show me how black her soul truly is, because for you to do this in your 80s, when you could have done it, Back when you were younger, you could have just pretty much brushed that hole, whistling off, and just let that boy go on his way. That shows me, again, how evil this female truly is, and how warped her soul is, how twisted her soul is. Because when I look at this, at this, at this Carolyn Bryant, this, this truly is a monster. I mean, Frankenstein, Dracula, they don't have nothing on this Carolyn Bryant. Adolf Hitler has nothing on Carolyn Bryant. This female is the epitome of evil. And she belongs right up there in the Hall of Fame with all these other butchers and monsters in American history. Unfortunately, many of these white males, because they are just simps, won't put her picture along up there along with those other monsters because this female truly is one of the most reprehensible human beings to have ever walked the earth. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.